Hi, welcome to the new Spring Boot tutorial series. This tutorial is based on the new Spring Boot 3 version. In part 5 of this series, we will continue with the H2 database. This time we use Spring Data JPA. We create another CRUD project with the following methods. Create. Read. Update. And delete. We also built additional methods. Find by ID. Create all. And patch. We won't go through the whole process of creating a new project, for that you have to go back to part 4 of this series. Here you can see the settings of the new project. We use the dependencies. Lombot. Spring Data JPA. H2 Database. And Spring Web. Back to Eclipse for the real code. In Eclipse, you can see the new project. Spring Boot Tutorial H2 Database JPA. First we will go over the application properties file. The only difference from the properties of part 4 is the logging level org spring framework JPA. All other properties are the same as in the previous part. The next class is users. As you can see users is now a class and not a record. Record cannot be used as an entity in spring boot JPA. At class level you will see some new annotations. Entity and table. Furthermore, you have the generated value annotation. If you look at the import, you can see that all database annotations now come from the Jakarta Persistence Maven dependencies. This is new in Spring Boot 3.0.0. In the user's repository interface, this time we use List CRUD repository, also new since Spring Boot 3.0.0, and the JPA repository. The user's service class is almost completely the same as in the previous part. We just created the create all user method. With this method we can create a list of users in our database. The new create all user also appears in the users controller class, otherwise there are no changes compared to part 4 of our series. Those who have followed the previous part will see that we do not have a schema SQL file this time. With Spring Data JPA this is no longer needed. Spring Data JPA creates the tables in the H2 database itself. The annotations in the Entity class are responsible for that. Now we can start our project, and see if everything is configured properly. If we have no errors we can test the project in Insomnia. In Insomnia, we use the same HTTP requests as in Part 4. Only Create All Users has been added. If we send Get Users now we get an empty response because after startup, the H2 database is empty. We must first create four new users with our new HTTP request, create all users. If we now send get users, you will see the four created users in the response. If we send get user by ID, we get back user, four. With create user, we can create a new user. With update user, we can change a user. This can also be done with patch user. If we now send get users we see all changes. In the H2 console we can view all data and change it if necessary. If you want to view and change data you have to write the queries yourself. Thanks for following this tutorial. Thank you. Like. Comment. Share. And subscribe.